The cosmos formed from a single point in space 13.8 billion years ago. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted explanation for how our universe came into being. Scientists developed this theory of universal genesis in response to their discovery that galaxies are still drifting apart in space. This suggests that a singularity, an infinitely dense area, may have once compressed everything. It was a really hot singularity, too. Hello, and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon, and put your idea and suggestions on comment section. Another piece of evidence for the Big Bang is the cosmic microwave background. Only a telescope can see the radioactive remains from the early universe that make up the cosmic microwave background. But what if this is all incorrect? What if this wasn't how the universe began? What more things did we get wrong? Here's what would happen if all you believe to be true about the universe turned out to be false. This is what if. Even though you probably don't want the cosmos to end, taking a quick look at how it might end could change your perspective on the universe and its beginnings. Let's have a serious conversation before delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. As March marks Mental Health Awareness Month, it's critical to dispel the myth that people with mental illnesses must suffer in silence, especially since 40% of American adults say they experience symptoms of sadness and anxiety. You know, most individuals can't afford help. Thus, it takes an average of 11 years for someone to seek therapy after symptoms appear. Even though these figures are unsettling, one thing is certain, you're not alone. This administration is currently attempting to increase access to mental health treatment through telehealth support, school-based mental health services, and increased funding for CDC programs. Let's end the silence. And if you need assistance, see what local options are available to you. With you in it, the universe is a much better place. Now, since you are aware that the cosmos is extending outward, you might conclude that this expansion will probably never stop. This may indeed be the case, which is why the most frequently accepted explanation has the cosmos acting this way. We refer to it as the Big Freeze. The universe expands due to an enigmatic, invisible power, which is what makes it so awesome. It is referred to as dark energy and accounts for 69% of the universe's mass. Regular matter makes up just 5% of the cosmos, while dark matter makes up the remaining 26%. All this heat and energy would eventually be very, very widely dispersed if all this material came from a single place and just kept increasing. Everything would eventually become so far apart that the universe would cool down to an absurdly low temperature. Absolute zero. The lowest possible temperature is zero Kelvin. It equals zero Kelvin, or minus 273 degrees Celsius if you'd rather use a more recognizable temperature scale. From your vantage point in the Milky Way, you wouldn't be able to view any distant galaxies by the time the universe reaches this extremely low temperature. That would be at least a few trillion years from now, so don't worry. That is but one hypothesis. It is also possible that the opposite will happen when the universe ends. The cosmos might contract back together rather than continuing to expand forever. It's time for the final strain. When considering the entire universe, the gravitational pull of all matter is inconceivably strong. It could be sufficient gravitational power to defeat the enigmatic dark energy. If this big crunch happened, the universe would begin to collapse in on itself. Remote galaxy clusters would combine. As a result of the stars and planets clustering together in our own galactic neighborhood, the cosmos would eventually warm. The Big Bang's cosmic microwave background radiation would heat up to such a degree that it would surpass the temperature of stars. It's hot, 5,000 degrees Celsius. The universe would devolve into a fiery, disorderly jumble. As temperatures rose and more mass compressed into an extremely small area, atoms would begin to disintegrate. 
This would be the universe congealing into the densest black hole conceivable. That would undoubtedly signal the end of the universe as we know it, but it might also signal the start of a new one. And that would demonstrate that the universe is far older than previously believed. It's possible that this catastrophic cycle of contraction and expansion is how the universe repeatedly built itself. There is not the slightest chance that you will make it to see this historic event firsthand. Nobody would. Thus, for the time being, all of this is merely end-of-the-world speculation known by the grand name of the Big Bounce. It implies that, like a lung that breathes in and out continuously, the cosmos expands and contracts, albeit slowly and not just once or twice. This idea suggests that there were billions, trillions, or maybe an unlimited number of worlds before and after our own. The cosmos could create the laws of physics each time it reforms. This would open up a whole range of peculiar possibilities. There might exist worlds devoid of all stars, life, and even atoms. It's getting wilder from here on out. Right now, this is all very wild. There are scientists who argue that our understanding of the cosmos is incomplete. We derive our understanding of the universe from observations and research conducted in our own galaxy, which we then extrapolate to other regions of the cosmos. The concept is known as the cosmological principle, and it is ancient. But perhaps we were mistaken all along. It's possible that our Milky Way galaxy's motion through space is warping the information we have. We've never gotten concrete proof to support our views, so from our current position, it's impossible to see the whole picture. At this point, you might be beginning to question whether any of this was real in the first place. The cosmos we can see, our universe, has to exist, right? Not quite so quickly, though. You can thank quantum mechanics for what I'm about to say. In quantum mechanics, researchers postulate atomic level theories about the nature of the cosmos. Furthermore, some experts in this field contend that the cosmos can only be local or real. I realize this can be mind-numbing, but please bear with me. If the cosmos is real, then some characteristics, such as mass and color, must exist even when you are not looking at it. For example, consider a red ball. If it's real, the ball is red even when no one is there to see it. However, the cosmos might only exist locally. This implies that the universe is only real because we are here to witness it with our telescopes. Thus, if you consider the red ball once more in the absence of any observers, its color may be any color at all. It turns red only when you look at it and notice that it is red. That's introductory quantum physics. There's a catch, though. There are two possible universes, local and real. Both are not possible. And never forget that the cosmos is absurdly vast. It might be limitless, simply put. Our telescopes aren't strong enough to observe everything. Thus, we are unable to determine with certainty if the cosmos exists at all. You didn't anticipate that, did you? That ought to be plenty to keep you wondering about the true origins of everything, potential future directions, and the ultimate purpose of it all. Hey, why end it there? If the cosmos were, in fact, like a massive brain, wouldn't that be amazing? Considering the nature of the universe and our limited understanding of its vastness, it's plausible to entertain a multitude of theories regarding its origins, behavior, and eventual fate. One fascinating concept is the multiverse theory, suggesting that our universe might be just one of many in an infinite series of parallel universes. These universes could have different physical laws, constants, and even different dimensions. If this is true, the implications are profound. Everything we know about reality could be just one version among countless others, each with its unique properties and possibilities. This could mean that every possible outcome of every event could be occurring in some parallel universe, providing a mind-boggling scope of existence beyond our imagination. The universe is a vast, 
enigmatic entity that continues to challenge our understanding and stretch the limits of our imagination. From the Big Bang and cosmic expansion to dark energy and the potential of a multiverse, each theory presents a new way to view our existence. Whether we consider the possibility of an endless cycle of creation and destruction, or ponder the implications of quantum mechanics on the reality of our universe, one thing is clear. Our quest for knowledge is far from over. The mysteries of the cosmos invite us to keep exploring, questioning, and imagining. As we uncover more about the universe, we also learn more about ourselves and our place in this vast, incredible expanse. The universe, with all its complexities and wonders, reminds us of the beauty of curiosity and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Thank you for watching and see you next time.